Hello, John Bloodworth Gentleman Crafter here with another Scan and Cut Saturday. This week it's a bit of a, an experimentation uh, session for me, as basically in the past I've been asked what to do with the waste after you've finished cutting detailed designs, because they can be as pretty and as useful for other projects um, as the original cutout design, and it seems a shame to waste that cardstock. So what I've done is I've gathered up a few bits and pieces, had a bit of a play and put together a few tips and tricks. So let's dig in. First up, a quick run through of the transfer tapes that I'm using. This first one is actually a contact paper and it's usually used for covering exercise books. The second one is actually the Brother transfer tape, usually used for transferring vinyl projects from the carrier sheet onto your project. And the second is a trans, no, an opaque transfer tape. So it's not clear or see-through, but it is again designed for transferring vinyl from carrier sheet to project. Okay, so here's my cutting mat and the detailed cut that I made. And here's obviously all of the bits that I want to transfer. I'm going to start out by using the contact sheet. Now I used this one the other day and it gave me great results. So it'll be interesting to see if they are consistent results. Can be a bit of a fiddle to get the sheet off the carrier, but once started, it's perfect. Uh, what I would do though, is only reveal part of that sheet. Uh, and you'll see why in a second, otherwise it can get a bit of a mess because you can transfer quite a bit at once. So as you can see, there's just a bit that I've um, revealed. So these are all basically low adhesive repositionable uh, uh, tapes, essentially. So I'm just going to change that actually because I wanted a particular width. So what I do is I basically position that over the design that I want to transfer, press that first portion down, and then pull back the carrier sheet as I push down the rest. I'm going to rub it all down. Now I think perhaps I may have rubbed down a bit too hard and you'll see why later, but for now we're fine. Now I'm just going to reposition the camera um, because I need you to be able to see what I'm doing on the edge of the table. Okay, so we've moved it. Now basically what I'm doing is bending the mat away from the contact sheet and lifting the contact sheet at the same time. It is a bit of a faff, but the problem we are facing is that the adhesive on the mat is stronger than the adhesive on the um, transfer sheet. So essentially what I'm trying to do by curving the mat is breaking the seal of the adhesive with the mat so that the adhesive on the transfer sheet can take over and lift those designs. Occasionally you'll find a very stubborn bit and you might have to just wiggle around or retry or even just literally just ignore it and then come back and pull it up and position it later on. But generally this um, low tack contact sheet does work quite well at lifting the design from the cutting mat. As you can see there, I've got everything. Next up, what I'll do is I will lift some of the design with the Brother transfer sheet. So this is very similar to the low tack um, contact paper in the fact that it's clear and has a very low tack adhesive on the back. Reveal part of it, position the first section and then pull back the carrier sheet, making sure there's no air bubbles or wrinkles rub down. Now I know from experience that actually the Brother low tack um, transfer sheet is very low tack. So I was really wondering whether it would actually succeed at this because of that having to break the contact with the cutting mat. But with a little bit of fiddling and a little bit of jiggling, uh, we have got some results. <laughs> I've just realized my <laughs> My big fluffy slippers are in shot. <laughs> this is how I roll. Uh, it's actually not that bad today, but it's been like minus four in Scotland recently. So mm, 
definitely thick warm slippers are in order, as is the cardigan. Anyway, carrying on with the lifting up, as you can see, the, the little areas are more of a challenge than the bigger pieces. Once you break that adhesive contact with the mat with the larger pieces, they tend to be easier to lift up. Occasionally though, if you're trying to go back and pick up a piece, other pieces will fall off again or recontact the mat and stick down again. So you've got to try and work um, in a progressive fashion with the mat going away from the design consistently. If you put the mat back to the card, it will probably come off the card carrier sheet. So probably smaller designs would be better for this or um, larger pieces. That's what I'm trying to say. Or if you've got thinner lines, then work with interconnected designs. I hope that makes sense. So maybe if I give you an example of a honeycomb, that might work. What you've also got to be aware of is not only have we got to get this up, we've also got to transfer this to our project, stick it down and then remove this contact tape. I will be showing you that in a second as well so you can see the kind of things that will happen if you're doing that. Now as you can see this is a bit of a faff so in the end I just basically ignored the few dots that didn't come up and what I would do then later on is go back and pick those up. For this large piece as you can see I can just pick it off the mat and stick it back in place. I haven't had to do that with the whole rest of the sheet so it's not that big a deal. There you go, that's just showing you what I managed to pick up. So I'm putting those to one side and as I say I'll show you sticking them down uh, in just a minute. Next up is that opaque transfer tape. Now again from experience I know this is very sticky um, a lot stickier than the other two that I've used so far. So I didn't doubt that it was going to lift anything up from the mat. My concern is later when I'm trying to remove it from the card. Will it tear? Time will tell. Same process. Reveal a bit, stick it down and then peel and stick. So as you can see, the contact between the two different adhesives here is actually quite strong. I was having to pull quite hard with this. Again, though, you need to break the contact with the card uh, from the cutting mat in order to lift it up. But as you can see, so far, this is actually working a lot better than the other two um, in the fact that it's picking things up straight away without too much bother. Getting a little finger under there or a spatula to try and um, help them is a good idea. Okay, so we've got the three um, sections now taken off. So basically the job now is to apply adhesive to the entire area of that background. Um, you need to work quick, obviously, because you don't want the glue to dry before you get to the other end. I did manage to do a 12 by 12 section of this yesterday, um, so you'll need to just try <laughs> and work fast if you want to work that large if you don't then that's fine i guess you could work section by section that might work that might help um, but you've got the challenge of then keeping the contact paper free of the design you've already transferred okay so glue on i'm now going to stick that down to the card So I'm using a quick tack glue, otherwise I would have left this for a few minutes. Now, this is the contact paper, remember from earlier. And yesterday I had exceptional results with it, with no tearing whatsoever. However, today it wanted to rip up quite a bit of the design. So this is the challenge you face when you're doing this kind of thing. 
I mean, at the end of the day, if you transfer a bunch and you can only use a section, at least there's a section not wasted. Sadly, it does mean that piece of contact paper can't be used again, though. Next up, it's the brother transfer sheet. Same again, just chuck the glue all over as quickly as you can. And I will speed this up a bit so we're not here forever do it watching this. There we go, all the glue on. So now we're turning over and sticking down. Again, rubbing all over. Now just a reminder, this transfer tape is designed generally to transfer vinyl from its carrier sheet to your project. If I'm honest, in the past I haven't been impressed with the results with the vinyl. However, it gave amazing results when transferring from card. No rippage whatsoever, and there was no sticking either. So, so far, that one's a winner for me. And then finally, we've got the opaque transfer tape, which, as I said, was much stickier than the brother transfer tape. So my concern would be that it would actually rip more than the contact paper that we've already seen. I'll just speed the gluing up again. Okay, that's the gluing done. Wish I could work that fast in real life. Now to stick that down onto the other card stock and see how we get on. Okay, now I can feel a lot of resistance here, but so far it was working okay. I did have one that didn't want to stick down and then it ripped. It's nervous tension now. <gasps> You might notice, by the way, that I'm actually removing this so that it's almost 180 degree reversed. If you try and pull up, you will get a lot more rippage. Just a tiny bit of ripping late there later on, which surprised me given the actual tack level that was on that sheet. So, so far, the Brother Transfer Tape has actually proved to be quite a winner. It's a bit of a faff trying to get the stuff off your cutting mat, um, but... The fact that we got zero rippage was perfect. And here's a section that I did yesterday as well. Uh, and the contact paper wasn't so great. So there we go. Brother transfer tape is my recommendation. If you've tried any and would like to suggest them in the comments below the video, please feel free to do so. I'm off to make a cup of tea.